morning guys okay so my buddy will he is back again his check engine came on and I just checked it and it's showing uh, EGR valve EGR recirculations and that's what the the computer shows it's right here you got like two three codes codes for the EGR <clears throat> so what I'm assuming what we're gonna do just pull the the EGR valve out because it has a um, plug right behind underneath this sensor for the pressure differential pressure it's a plug over there and I gotta check if it doesn't have suit so in order to get to that plug I have to remove the whole thing out the whole different uh, EGR valve Have to take this take this off all right guys so that's what we found over here and the EGR is pretty pretty dirty and I just realized right now the suit coming out all the way over here so this is probably gonna need a really good cleaning and that's the the EGR cooler probably gonna have to take it out and clean it up to wash it so we'll see what we're gonna end up with all right guys, so look what we got in here. This one is not really beautiful, especially right here inside. Look at it. I'm gonna have to do some cleaning on it. That's what we got in here after I pull out the, the throttle body. It's full soup. I gotta clean out everything. So we took out the plug and clean it inside. Right now it's good. So guys, we cleaned this EGR valves a little bit. Had to open it up and clean it right here. On the inside. The valves right here clean. That 
throttle body over here. VGR. Clean inside as much as possible. We'll see what we're gonna get. I had to take out this plug and clean it out too. I'll start putting it back together. I'll have to take out the VGR cooler too to clean it up. Okay guys, so we cleaned the EGR, EGR cooler, everything installed back. Check engine light went off by itself. Not showing anything. <coughs> and uh, I reset the, the, it had the uh, transmission filter code to be changed live. Which I'll show you in a second. go to transmission okay and there's no codes now you put on the test put transmission Allison and there it is right there reset oil life Press start and that's it, it's complete and it resets the oil life. So there's no light for the transmission, no check engine light. We'll have to go and do a test drive and see how it's gonna go. Everything good so far. Alright, thank you for watching guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel please. Have a nice day.